The true self is the epicenter of a person's entire being. It is the total sum of everything that we are. The false ego, on the other hand, is the idea and concept we create about ourselves in the course of our lives, which typically excludes any qualities we don't wish to accept about ourselves. However, humanity has been endowed with the freedom to choose either to obey the true self or to give in to the temptation of the vanity and materialism of the false ego. This is the most notable trait that separates man from animal. Our freedom of choice. The choice to follow our concepts and ideals or our natural impulses. The choice to sustain nature or to destroy it. This freedom of choice weighs on the fate of the entire organism that we call humanity. Cancer begins with a group of cells within a community that fail to communicate with the conscious signal of the organism. Those cells begin to grow out of control and spread to other areas of the organism. This very disease is evident in our world today. The cancer upon our earth is the domination of our false ego and our divorce from nature. Collectively, among every human, the cancer upon our earth is the domination of our false ego and our divorce from nature. Collectively, among every human, vanity leads to segregation and competition. Competition leads to fear and greed. Greed leads to deceit and immorality. And immorality is the breeding ground for illness, waging war on our earth. Every act of hatred and destructiveness in our world begins with self-hate and self-destructiveness. And it all begins with a breakdown in communication.